Hello everyone, my name is Smek, and as you may know, as you may know, uh, I love action figures. They're just great. They're awesome. So I've decided to start a new, uh, a new series called the Custom Action Figure Corner, or just Action Figure Corner. I haven't decided what to call it yet, but here's a little thing, and I'll give you about ten seconds to guess what we'll be showing you today. Just kidding. You probably already know. It's it's a custom Doom guy. Let me just put the helmet back on. So, uh, here he is. Uh, this is my custom Doom guy. The helmet does look a little big. I'm gonna be completely on. Oh, frick! My computer! Ah, my camera! Hold on one sec, I gotta fix it. Alright, I'm back. That was a fiasco. So, uh, here he is without the helmet. I use the w uh, Mattel WWE The Miz action figure. Uh, and it's good because it's got one hand that's, uh, one hand that is open so we can hold stuff, and another one that is a fist so we can punch stuff. And I really like the smile on his face because it really fits the Doom guy when he gets, like, a, you know, a big gun or a new gun. Wh whatever. Let me just, hold on, ah, frick, I lost, oh wait, never mind, I did not lose the shotgun. I used a, uh, I used a G.I. Joe Classified Series Flint shotgun. Uh, and I, hold on, let me just get him in a pose here. Alright, there we go. So I used the G.I. Joe Classified Series Flint shotgun. I cut a little bit of it here so he'd be able to hold it, uh, without, you know, anything getting in the way. And I really like how it turned out. Also, uh, I used, uh, tin foil on the, uh, I molded tin foil. Oh, on the head of the action figure, I'm sorry if I'm, like, uh, too, doing too many pauses, my head hurts right now, and this, uh, yeah, I hit my head against my bed too, one too many times, because we're watching, I was watching another TikTok cringe compilation, I hate myself, but anyway, the helmet, uh, is made out of epoxy putty, and the tinfoil is in here, because I molded it around the action figure's head, uh, so, uh, I could, so a buddy of mine could mold the epoxy putty around the tinfoil, and I think they did a pretty damn good job. I won't disclose on their name because they don't want to be named in this. I already asked them, but, uh, so, as you can see, it's freaking good. Uh, it's not as good as some other molds I've seen on Figure Realm, but it's damn fine. So, uh, let, let's see some of the, some of the accessories up close. Let me just, uh, put them in his hand. There we go. There's the shotgun. And then uh, let me get the pistol. I'm still in the process of making all of the, all of the weapons. I'll do update videos when I, uh, do make the, some of the weapons. Uh, so yeah, let me just show him with the helmet on. Well, you've already seen it, but here's a closer look. Yeah, the helmet's a bit big, just, but it's, it's kind of the perfect size for an action figure of this size. So yeah, thank you all for coming to the custom action figure corner, and I hope you all enjoyed. Please subscribe, drop a comment, like the video, it really helps. Thank you for watching. You're all great.